how to survive in a time of crisis and especially during this time of corona pandemic and the lockdown i will be sharing with you five main tips that i find it very useful to survive this corona thing Welcome to my channel. It is called Basi also, but you can just call me Colby. That's enough. In my channel, I will be helping you with the best tip and hack for building your influence with online videos and also to share self-help and personal development tricks and know how to unlock your potential. So if you are here new, consider subscribing. So no matter what it is, every bad situation you find yourself in, will eventually come to an end. And that is the first thing that I tell myself every single time that I face crisis. And also I think being someone who has survived wars, persecution, and also living in a refugee camp as a child, I saw that I had enough resilience to cope with anything that coronavirus throw at me. And yes, indeed, <laughs> you know, the coronavirus has throw quite a lot on me. You know, the symptoms are sometimes brutal and relentless and ever-changing at times. You know, sometimes I think that, oh yeah, I'm done, I'm recovered, and then bam, I hit me again. And also, you know, the isolation imposed by it and the fact that I may be infected to other people made me feel like I'm a castaway. Like in those all, you know, time for people with leprosy. You know, at times I felt that I am having a nightmare that I want to be awakened from as quickly as possible. But, but then I'm awake and the nightmare is real and especially when you are somebody who had experience of trauma your brain will play you to believe that the past that you think that is behind you is actually happening right now so you feel that you are back in the past and also you cannot make the distinction between you know the past and also the present situation where you find yourself in so i urge you to consider this yeah just to be mindful of your friends the people you know or work with, if they had traumatic event in the past, that may affect how they deal with the lockdown. So understand them and support them to regain the ability to differentiate between the past and as well the present. You know, I truly believe that the chances are that in time of crisis, especially in that pandemic where the entire world is affected, we all need help calming the internal storm that start brewing. You know, crisis not only have the potential to jeopardize and infiltrate our mind, but they also threaten our emotional stability and also relationship with other people. So it is natural to let this stuff bother us, but learning how to deal with it and give ourselves some sense of peace of mind is really, really, really important. But how do you handle the internal storm when your whole being is at risk. While intense concentration is vital for solving everyday issues, focused thinking can also lead to narrow thinking, which focus only on the negative side of the event. You know, for example, yeah, the more time I spend thinking about the coronavirus symptoms and how I feel, how the world it is, the more limited my ability to access the power of thinking required to stay hopeful and positive. So I took the decision to have my mind occupied by something else rather than, you know, the symptoms or the lockdown or what is happening around the world. So my advice is that keep your mind open and you will keep your options open too. So here are the five top tips I find it very useful to cope. So tip number one, you know, the first order of play, it is to take care of the person, which is you, who can focus on something else when the whole world is ending. You know, this pandemic or this crisis became all consuming that we find ourselves isolated, even within isolation, simply because we don't want other people to see us at our worst. You know, that's my guess. You know, locking myself up at home, you know, making a list of the thing or passing forth and back in a constant agitation are not going to help me, I found out. It is simply important to live as much of your life as you can in that lockdown. I also realized that the constant attention on the situation with the corona 
symptoms require a continuous flow of adrenaline which left me more exhausted. Only by allowing myself to relax and doing the bare minimum, and even those bare minimum are the thing I love doing, allow me to have enough energy left to tackle the tough stuff when I need it. You know, our body need more self-care in situation or in a crisis, you know, like this, no less. Invest in yourself and pay extra attention to your sleep, to your diet and to your fitness. This self-care discipline is what going to save you and prevent you from making future costly mistake or going insane. Tip number two, why the instant response does not work in this crisis. You know, everyone faces crisis, but our animal nature ensure that the fight or flight response kick in when anxiety mount. For this pandemic or for this crisis, however, that response really doesn't work. Because this pandemic crisis is something that is unpredictable and could last quite a while. You know, we are talking about the entire planet is affected and is in lockdown. And no one knows exactly how and when it will come to an end. So I'm asking you to brace yourself for the ultimate impact. Because we are forced to abandon the essential habit, the routine, and also the relationship to focus on the task at hand, which is what is required to survive in this time of crisis. You know, I keep telling myself life will resume eventually when things get better. But the truth is that if I know when that ordeal is going to end, I wouldn't call it crisis. Would you? I guess no. So I came to learn from experience that I will never survive the external storm unless I learn to manage the internal one. That's even more difficult than some, right? <laughs> Tip number three, try your best to return to a normal life. You know, the more time your body spend in a state of stress, you know, the more it will perpetuate the fear and anxiety. So once the initial shock disappear, you know, do what you can do just to calm down. I love my work and also recording YouTube video for you guys. So these activities constantly instructing my brand that everything is normal and dropping the new routine set by the crisis of lamenting and feeling sorry is like jumping into a cold water. At first, it shocked my system. It's like, you know, my system telling me, what? Nothing is normal. Why are you acting like everything is normal? But maintaining the course of the sense of normalcy, I told my brain that while I may be going through a difficult time, most things functioning as usual. <laughs> Tip number four, take your time. You know, one mistake that we tend to do, we believe that getting out is as quick as getting in a crisis. But it is far from the truth. It is natural to want to get out of a crisis as quickly as you get in. Your instinct to trust your gut and make a quick decision probably won't get you out of the situation. Trust me on that. I urge you to slow down. Yes, it is uncomfortable to stand in the middle of a storm, but it's more important to make the right decision than it is to rush into one that could make things worse. Stay calm, observe the situation, and hold in too tight until you are ready to make your move. It is your game, and play it at your terms. Tip number Five, get the support that you need. You know, embarrassment, fear, and shame may tell you to fight it alone, but you should never operate from a place of fear. Your first step is not to hide out, but to build out. Build a team around you. Look to your friends, your families, your loved ones to help you manage both your external and also your internal crisis. Those people you know who are trustworthy and who will stand by you, they will give you the strength to fight on. And lastly, remember this saying, this too shall pass. No matter what it is, every bad situation you find yourself or your love find themselves in will eventually end. That's why no matter the fight, 
you need to live fully through the crisis to see your way out. Hope you find it very useful. If so, like it, share with your friends, and subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel yet. Thank you, peace and love from me. Be good, unlock your potential. Bye for now. <laughs>